every Riven encounter starts by checking where the DPS phase will happen. There are three main ways people use to read Riven's position while doing the encounter. By an audio cue, by looking at this wall, or by looking at this door. All of them have different pros and cons, so let's go over them. Let's start with reading with the audio cue, as that one is probably the most interesting one. This works the best while using a sword, although you can also do it by using the churning allies wall as soon as you get there, but you do need to yoink one of the players closer to this spawn. When the encounter starts, Riven will shortly have to move to one of the sides, chill there for a bit, and then move to the other side for the DPS phase. You'll be telling which side she goes to by the sound of her spawning there, and then going to the other side for the DPS phase. Do not mix this up with the sound of her screeching and moving around the pillar at the start, as she spawns on one of the sides roughly 11 seconds after her chain base sealed, making this the slowest way to read Rion's position. This is probably the coolest way to tell her position, as there aren't many callouts you can do by sounding Destiny 2. You'll also have the best worst case scenario, because you're already upstairs and don't need to use the joining alarm wall if Rion is on the other side. But you'll also have the worst best case scenario, as you'll always take an extra 20 seconds to run to the DPS room, when half of the time you can just get lucky and not even need to change the room if you use either of the other two methods. You can also easily miss the call-up if someone in your party is talking or telling a joke, and asking others to be quiet for you to use an unnecessarily fancy way of just telling a position doesn't feel good, especially during LFG runs. Do keep in mind that you might want to lower or turn off the in-game music and turn the FX volume up a bit to hear her spawning better. I'll show you both the sounds, hopefully you can still tell the difference through YouTube. The most common way of telling Riven's position is by looking at this wall. If you see a dark shadow around 2 seconds after the chamber is sealed, that means that the DPS phase will happen in this room. If it doesn't, you go to the other side by using the churning allies wall. There's nothing wrong with using this method, but I prefer using another word personally. This door. There's a similar tell to the last method when using this strat, but in the reverse this time. If you see a dark shadow gliding across the door around 7 seconds after the chamber is sealed, you use the churning allies wall to change sides. If you don't see it, then stay at the current side. The only pro to using the normal method is that you can read Ruin's position around 5 seconds faster than by using the door. Thus, the optimized min-max way to divide your raid is to send one guy to check Ruin's position and have the others start joining allies a few seconds before the door closes, so that they would have the maximum amount of time to clear ads on the other side. However, I wouldn't rely too much on randoms to do the callout, the second they see Riven is missing. On the other hand, there are many reasons why reading from the door is better. Firstly, you have a better worst case scenario. Usually, the problem isn't when the DPS fit is happens in the room where everyone goes at the start as you have plenty of time to kill the adds and prepare for the DPS phase. If Rune Hover spawns on the other side, it takes a couple of seconds to run the joining allies wall, and then 5 more seconds to activate it, when the people reading from the door can be mid joining allies time whilst reading. This matters even more during a solo run, as having those extra couple of seconds to kill those snipers can make or break the run. Secondly, the old wheel is not getting shot while reading from the door, and the tail of room being on the other side, being clear and obvious, is also some nice quality of life. You've all been to the raid where the person calling out Ruben's position is saying something along the lines of, alright, she's on the other side. Wait, wait, couples. Yeah, she's on the other side. And by the end of their rant, you've already seen the shadow from the wall, making their work pointless. Lastly, this is also a better spot to teach people Ruben, as on the other spot, you have way less time, as start shooting you, the callout is a dark shadow against a black background, and if Ruin is on the other side, you'd have to show the joining ice wall on the fly whilst being in hurry. With the door, 
you have plenty enough time to show them where the Genialis wall is at the start, and the callout is way easier to see. You also don't have the problem of newbies running to the back of the room when you go to show them how to read run, making it even slower to get to the other side. As a bonus, if you don't like talking, usually someone already goes inside the room to do the callout anyways, and you'd only have to help them with the callout if they're slow, if they missed it, and or something else happened, making the door a perfect spot to read if you're feeling a bit lazy, but still want to contribute to the raid. In the end, it doesn't really matter where you read your position, as you'll have more than enough time anyways to go to either of the sides. I just wanted to make this video to talk about a strap I don't see anyone else using, even though I think it's just a more efficient way to do the fight. Hope you had fun, and thanks for sticking around until the end.